fucking worry about. Ready? All right, go. Okay, here we are back for part two of our slider down control line routing. This is the second method we see commonly out there in the world of bass. This one's become a lot more popular in the last couple of years. What we have here is control lines routed through the keeper rings, both sides, but still outside the slider grommets. This method is generally favored by jumpers who think that they have a low chance for a line over and have tight technical landing areas where they feel like if they lose a toggle, they're gonna break their legs. The disadvantage here is that you must have line release toggles on your rig in case you have a line over or you must accept the consequences of a line over you cannot clear. Or, uh, or and even if you do have line release toggles, you're gonna be slower to clear a line over. The line release toggle is a pretty reliable system these days, but it's still definitely slower than just throwing the toggle to clear the line over. This system's good if you're confident you're not gonna have a line over or if your landing areas are so bad that you don't wanna try and approach them on risers. The other group of people who are really fond of this system is people who do a lot of slider up jumps and very few slider down jumps because they don't want their canopy to feel like it's flying differently. They don't want a different flare stroke. They don't want a different control range. And so they leave it through the rings because they feel like they have less control over their canopy on their five slider down jumps a year than they do on their 200 slider up jumps. So if you're primarily a slider up guy or you jump a lot into tight technical landing areas, this is a technique you might wanna consider. The other reason that we sometimes use this, and personally this is what I do from about November to about February here in Idaho, is because if your hands are really cold, you may fumble a toggle. Uh, generally, from about November to February, I'm wearing big gloves when I jump, and my hands are already pretty cold, sometimes going numb, which means I wanna keep the lines inside the keeper rings so that if I fumble the toggle, I can get it back. I'm trading off and I'm accepting the possibility that if I have a line over, I'm gonna be really slow to clear it. And that's even worse wearing gloves and trying to activate a line release toggle. So in some senses, I'm just relying on the tailgate and it's one in 10,000 chance of an actual line over malfunction with the tailgate.